Ha! That's right, we're not done yet. So it has been like a month since I've played this. Uh, the last thing I did on here, I did get everything together. I think I got everything together to fight the infected broodmother. I even did a couple of test fights in a different world, but that was like a month ago. So uh, I'm still going to be a little bit rusty going into this fight. Not even just rusty on the fight itself, but the, the game. It's, it's been quite a while. Uh, oh, I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, there's a lot happening out here. I just really want to get in here without fighting and not taking any damage. Oh, I didn't realize y'all are all going to be through here. Okay, we're in here. All right, let's talk about our setup. The first thing we've got going on here is the set of fire ant armor. Uh, this is going to give us corrosion, which gives us a chance to deal more damage for about 10 seconds. It's also going to give us acid damage, which increases our damage dealt by acid. And that's going to be accompanied by acidic splash, which is the set bonus, which just gives us a chance to throw out a splash of acid. The acid damage and the acidic splash are just kind of bonuses. Our main thing here is corrosion because we just want to do damage as fast as possible, pretty much. So really, if you just kind of want to not take it up the sleek path and just go for a heavier set so you can protect yourself a little bit more, that works too. And then we have the Toenail Scimitar. This has infection. I've talked about this before. It's been one that I've really wanted for a while. Um, but I guess this is kind of the moment that really pushed me to get it. But infection, uh, every hit, it's guaranteed to slow down her attack speed and attack damage. It doesn't stack, unfortunately, but at least it's guaranteed to slow her down a little bit. My chair has gotten so squeaky. Can y'all hear that? God, that's bad. I think I need a new chair soon. <laughs> Uh, but we also have a couple of Black Hawks burgers. These give us uh, max health and damage resist. Our main smoothie that we're going to be using is the Beefy Waspidote. These next four uh, all are sticky, but the Boost Juice is going to give us max stamina increase. The Fuzz on the Rocks, max health increase. The Sticky Liquid Rage gives us an attack bonus and damage resist from the human food. And of course, we're going to be using the Fungal Charm, which gives us explosive resist because the infected Broodmother does do a lot of explosive damage. We brought a couple of repair glues just in case the weapon or armor does get worn down because this fight can go on for a while and it could do a lot of wear on your equipment. And I do have a bar set up for this already. The smoothies are only going to be applied every so often once these, those effects are wearing off. And I may not even use them for the first wave because the first wave is pretty simple. I feel like the second wave is also pretty simple. It's going to be mainly the third wave that gets you. The shield is going to be going on and off. You mainly want to hold it whenever she's doing her really fast attacks, which hopefully we can have those debuffed. But we don't really want to have it on when you have an opportunity to deal massive damage because the shield does reduce the amount of damage you do when it is equipped. I just realized I brought stuff to make a lean-to, and I didn't do it because I ran in here and avoided everything like a coward. So I'm going to run back out, make a lean-to, set my respawn point. So if I die, when I die, I'm more than likely going to die, and it's going to suck. Uh, that way I have a place to respawn. But I want to hurry up and get in here before my Black Hawks burgers decay. And... Respawn set. Good to go. And for our mutations, we are using Blade Master. This lowers the damage that she'll deal to us. And we also have the Mastery Bonus, which uh, temporarily removes our Exhaustion Timer. And as long as we keep swinging, we're good on that. We are going to be using Coup de Grass so we can have a chance to hit those critical hits. This will be very valuable. Spicy safety because she does do stabbing damage and this will help resist some of those attacks. Man, Serious Stranger, uh, just to kind of help us, Man, Serious Stranger, Stranger is pretty strong and it could potentially give us a little bit of a distraction so we can back away in a moment of need if he is out there. And then Corporate Kickback, this gives us lifesteal. So a couple things to note is you do want to try and keep her away from this water as best as possible. So like kind of coming to this side will be best. It will be kind of unavoidable at times, uh, but... I'm really not the best to kind of guide you step by step through this because I don't have a lot of experience doing it. Uh, but I do know we don't really have a lot of time from the time she gets in here. So we are going to get everything popped on here first before we uh, summon her. And you can see right down here all of our buffs currently on here. Fungal charm on. I'm going to go ahead and take the shield off for the first wave and double check. I think we're all set. Okay, here we go. First try. Oh. Yeah, that one was my bad. I really walked right on top of a bomb. Let's see, equipment's pretty damaged, so definitely gonna be, um, what am I saying? Definitely gonna be using the repair glue on the equipment. Good thing we brought it. That is what it's for. We definitely don't want this running out 
while we're in the middle of the fight. So we're just going to go ahead and put it all up to the top. Oh, you don't use repair glue. Okay, hopefully you don't die. So I did manage to steal an infected chunk off of her for the first run through of that. I don't think I'm going to keep Mant's Serious Stranger on because he's not popping in as much as I would like for him to. I think I'm going to trade it out for Shocking Dismissal. This is one I like to go to because it does give you a little damage boost every once in a while. And pairing is pretty important. Go ahead and eat. Go ahead and drink. I'm not going to pop any of these on the first time. I really don't even think I'm going to pop any of them on the second time. I think I'm fine without it. This way it kind of gives me more tries before I need to go refill. Go ahead and take you off. Put you on. Grab you. And hopefully we don't die again. Okay. So we definitely need more potions. Smoothies. What broke? Oh, my shield broke. Yeah, and I need to repair that. So let me grab my stuff. I do need to head back to base so I can make a couple more waspidotes. Which, now that I think about it, may not even be useful. I think she does venom. I haven't been paying attention, but she may be doing venom this whole time. Uh, so if I don't have the stuff to make waspidotes, I can make uh, just regular beefy smoothies, and I think this will work fine. So I actually don't have any fossil sprouts. So let's go collect some of those. No way. Has it really not been that long since I collected these? I only have four. <laughs> I have like my small farm. So I guess we're gonna give this a minute. I'll probably just run out here, make a bed and sleep. Then we'll come back in here and hopefully they'll be back by then. Otherwise I may be running back to get some and then try and duplicate. Um, I actually just remembered, I do still have these on me, uh, but I only have, I have less than 7,000 raw science. So let's see how much it is to duplicate this. It's only 500. I will wait. Uh, let me see if sleeping will reset these. You know, my my original plan for this world with the slow play, as I had started out with it, was to actually kind of develop at uh, every field station so there would always be a bed around wherever I was at. But it didn't stick around. I'm actually gonna tuck one under here for fun. I ended up changing to where I wanted to push through the world a lot faster. Uh, to get to the new content and I, well, I was still falling behind on everything. I also just thought about the fact that there are beds in the lab and that wasn't enough time. All right, so we'll just duplicate. All right, that's all we can get to is 17. Yeah, you know what, we'll just do, we'll stick with the 17 muscle sprouts or the 17 soothing syrups. And we're back. Let's go ahead and take the shield off because we're not gonna use it at all during the first wave or phase. Whee! Third time's a charm as they say. Oh wait, no, I don't need that one, I need this one on. Forgot I already got the extra chunk from her. Shocking Dismissal. You can see I actually already have a stamina debuff on the bottom left there, uh, but it's not really doing much because I've got Swordmaster equipped. Or it's just my stamina is just coming back, no problem. No, oh, come on. Yeah, I went all the way to the end of the first phase before I got a regen debuff. Oh, Pete, don't forget to peep your creatures. But you can see down there at the bottom that I do have the regen debuff. Only one, but you want to avoid those because they stack permanently. Also, I learned that she screams immediately at the beginning of the second phase. But yeah, avoid those uh, regen debuffs. They come from the five strike attack. I uh, don't know what else. I don't know if she can do them in the second phase. because I don't think she has that attack at all. I think I shielded. This fog makes it really hard to see. It is best to just kind of hold your shield because you don't want to get uh, hit by the scream because it does apply the uh, attack debuff. I keep calling them debuffs. It's a nerf, attack nerf. But it does lower your attack damage that you do. And as I've said before, you definitely want to be able to do as much damage as possible, as fast as possible. Ouch. So 
Sometimes I can just barely catch her right at the, uh, right out of the corner of my eye before she does the attack. Get a nice little, good little block on it. Ouch. Are those destroyable? I haven't tried, and I'm kind of scared to try because I feel like it's just going to divert my attention from her. What? Get stuck a little. little shocking dismissal there again. Ooh, good timing on that block. Ooh. Another screen. One of the things I definitely wanted to do was avoid using any smoothies before the third wave. We are doing a great job at that. And you see I'm going back and forth between the shield, taking it off and putting it back on. I feel comfortable doing that in the second phase. Because uh, their attacks are slow enough for me to parry all of them. Ow! Are you trying to make me use a smoothie? I think she had um, the critical hit buff on her. I, I didn't notice. But she did kind of come from that direction. But there's corporate kickback kicking in just in time. Got my health back up to full, didn't even have to use a smoothie. But I do want to use this spider slider. Wow, I read it and then completely forgot what it was. So that uh, I can get that. Oh god, these are fast. So I can get that critical hit and chance increase. God. God, already up to six, five to six on that um, region nerf. Ouch. I think I just popped human food, I didn't pay attention. But also liquid rage and fuzz on the rocks are good ones to have. I do have, um, just fuzz on the rocks. I do have, god, sorry, I can't even concentrate right now. Uh, whatever it's called, the one for, uh, boost juice. Uh, it's not important, I'll probably just pop it on just for fun. Because my stamina is not even an issue. Doing a great job blocking the screen. God. Doing a great job blocking the screens, but nothing else apparently. You see her slow down, because I do have the effect on her. Wow. Oof. That's not what I wanted to see come from the fog. toes in the water just then. That one definitely could have hurt if I didn't block it. And just like that, my parry skills are increasing. I really don't want to jinx anything, uh, but I do feel like I'm doing a fantastic job of pushing through this right now. Oh my god. Just pushed me out of the corner. 
Let's see it all. I'm really concentrating right now. Um, I've got, I think I just said 26 of the region nerf on me. My, my spoolies aren't gonna do anything. So I've gotta avoid taking damage as much as possible. That's actually not the smoothie I wanted to put on just then. Yeah, 33 times right now. Ouch. Really do that corporate kickback. Yeah, did you see how little that did to heal me? Every time I get closer, she's like pushing me away. Also, this whole time I've been trying to keep her back um, to the wall here, so that way if she lunges back, uh, she doesn't go into the water. And if she goes side to side, either way, it's fine. just hit my head on the microphone <laughs> that's a great way to end that fight all right so let me switch mutations over to yeah we want to have dissection expert so we can get as much of this uh, much as much out of this as possible words are hard Whew. all right sorry for being so quiet for the majority of the third phase especially oh got in at the end for sure i was in the zone <sighs> you would Blocking the way. I don't want to fight anymore. Did you disappear? Is that brittle marble? Oh, it is. How about that? Yes? Ah, oh, perfect. He said he didn't want any of this. I completely forgot I haven't crafted the acid edge yet. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and discover the last wonder of the backyard. Which is going to be the remixer. But I'm not going to go through it yet. We're not going to move on to New Game Plus yet. I'm just going to knock these last quests out and empty my inventory and then we're going to hop back into the spacer with Wendell and see where we are at. And Acid Edge, I do have two Sour Globs already so that's good. I actually, I actually probably crafted those to make the Acid Edge at some point and I completely forgot. That's probably why I have them. There you are. So you've probably seen this door a hundred times. I know I've already showed it. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a save right outside of this because I don't know what's gonna happen. I haven't walked through here yet. I haven't seen what happens when you walk through here yet. Uh, I've been successfully avoiding all that. What else is back here? Oh, it's just a rock. I thought there was something else going on. So to open this door, you do have to do three boss fights and the uh, Java Matic. You know what? I thought the infected broodmother was on this, but I guess it wasn't. I could have done this. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and open the door. And this is how you get to the remixer, which brings you to New Game Plus. Ah, a lovely sight. There you are. Ah, crispy toast. Burnt toast. I don't know what all this toast is for yet. That's how little I know about going into New Game Plus right now. Alright, I got what I came in here to do. 
Now let's go back to Wendell. There's a few reasons why I don't want to go to New Game Plus just yet. One is I don't know if I've 100 percent of this world yet, which we're about to find that out from Wendell. And two, I want to fortify the base before going into New Game Plus because I don't know what creatures are going to be right by my base or potentially inside of my base to start. All right, time to see what we have missed. Wendell, no, I don't need to talk to Wendell. Let's activate this. Wait, why did it didn't activate? Oh, no. I guess I didn't press it. I am going to skip the cutscene and we're just going to jump straight to the end and talk about what's going on. As soon as it lets me skip the cutscene. Two hundred thirty-five days, five deaths. Thank you, infected broodmother. You're ninety-nine. Okay, expected because I. Pretty sure I've missed Scabby, so that's exactly what I was about to say. So I do need to figure out where all the locations of the Scabbies are. Thanks for playing, and thank you for watching! Uh, if you have enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. I am close to the 1000. It has been, uh, like I said, a month, more than a month, I think, since I've played. So even more than that since I've uploaded a video. I will become consistent. Again, I was kind of I was kind of doing weekly before. Whatever, none of that matters. Uh, get, consider subscribing if you have enjoyed this video. Please like it; that does help me out, and share it with your friends. I do hope you've learned something uh, from this video. And of course, I don't consider this to be a tutorial on fighting the infected broodmother. There are plenty of those out there. This was just more of a me doing it. Yep. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you.